Hi, it's Nick Glorioso, Glorioso Wildlife Mounts Taxidermy in Port Hedron, in New York. Today, welcome to a new and exciting episode. We will be fleshing some whitetail capes on the flesher. This is uh, Dakota 5. Uh, this is from my uh, buddy Paul Fazero. My instructor got that from him. Had a brand new table made for it. Um, so these uh, capes have been pickled for about six days now. Going to put the GoPro 3 head cam on and uh, let's get to it. I'm going to go plug it in. It's going to get quite noisy, but this sure beats flesh and stuff by hand. So, all right, here we go. This is going to be a short clip, um, probably just five, six minutes or so, just so you get the idea. Um, I did uh, take some tuning steels and tune this up. Hopefully, it's uh, sharp enough here. If not, we could sharpen it a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Got the GoPro 3 on. I'm going to go plug in my flushing machine. It'll get quite noisy, but here we go. I like to wear a rubber apron. So I like to also test the blade out by starting off at the thickest part, which is the neck area. So. I 
to start at the neck area and then work my way down to the brisket area. That's a better way to describe it. There we go. Very, very thick in this area here. But, so where, where you'll have your stretch problems a lot of times is right in this neck area. So after this thing is shaved real nice to your liking, doesn't mean you can't shave it again. I've done it many times. Uh, after it's tanned, uh, you can bring it to the flushing machine again and, and thin it down some more if you like after it's uh, tanned. I'm going to be using the McKenzie tan. I love it. Great stuff. Uh, saves you money. I'm going to go and give this thing a little bit of sharpening. Okay, a little bit here. Okay, see what that did.